everyone, it's me, Darcy from Tesla Astronaut. So today I just want to do a quick um, share with you on my impressions of FSD so far. Um, it's been about one and a half week, maybe about two weeks so far. Um, there are things that I like about FSD and there are things that I feel uh, it a lot of improvements are needed for FSD to really work well in our traffic. So the main difference with FSD and um, autopilot is um, navigate on autopilot. So the one thing that you get with navigate on autopilot is uh, it will be able to merge onto a highway and then once it merges onto a highway it will then perform all the required maneuvers until the exit of that particular highway. It's also able to do lane changes by itself so it will perform overtake maneuvers uh, when it deems uh, is necessary. So all these all this features of uh, FSD sounds fantastic uh, but having used it for now close to two weeks um, I feel the benefits of FSD at it, its current stage is at best incremental from autopilot when I say incremental from autopilot I mean the step up from autopilot is not that much Autopilot by itself is a game changer, right? It's 2x better than whatever that is available at this point of time. So it really does make driving more relaxing and, and you, you definitely get less fatigue when you have AP and a enabled while, while driving. So the whole point of FSD is to complete the highway experience. You ramp up onto the highway and then you ram off the highway. Uh, but having said this, um, at this point of time, FSD is not really able to do um, those tasks. Now it can do it if traffic is light, right? If, um, for example, if you, if you were to compare the morning drives to the night drives, you realize that the night drives are actually way smoother than the morning drives. Um, so on light traffic, uh, FSD handles um, merging onto the highway and merging off the highway, getting off the highway uh, really well. Uh, m most of the time, if there's not much traffic or, or random occurrences, uh, it's more than good enough to, to, to get the job done. In fact, it's it, it's quite it's quite cool. Like I I'm always uh, impressed when 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 you have a good uh, FSD drive, right? But then but then when you use it again the next morning, uh, you it's ah uh, it's it gets quite frustrating. Uh, it really does get quite frustrating because um, it, it's there's still a lot of work. Uh, for FSD and the version that we have right now is, is nowhere near uh, FSD beta so for example um, coming up here you're gonna see again it's a day drive right um, as we get to the highway I'll always pull up uh, FSD to make sure that uh, to, to see how it does and every day uh, it makes the same there will always be the same few occurrences that will happen so now, now you see us um, going on to BKE from Mandai Road. Um, I'm going to pull up FSD uh, after the two lanes merge because uh, I don't want FSD to be driving on the merging lane, uh, mainly because it cannot really handle um, it cannot it cannot really handle multiple vehicles on the same lane uh, with no clean clear lane lines marking so the other day you tried to hit a BMW right you tried to steer into a BMW not hit uh, <laughs> uh, so so here you, you can see um, we're trying to merge onto the highway uh, there's more than ample space for FSD to go out right you, you, you see 
if you look at my side mirrors, there, there's no vehicles, right? And even up front, you have more than enough space to, to make the, the lane change. Uh, but the problem with um, FSD right now is uh, it requires a lot of space to execute that change. Um, at least four to six car lengths to, to, to execute that change. And by the time it gets the space, you, you, you have ran out. <laughs> you have run out of road to drive on right and if you if you watch what i'm doing while driving you will realize that i'm just constantly reactivating uh fsd all the time uh and then when i when when there's finally no more opportunity for fsd to do the lane change i will take over and then lane change becomes uh, much smoother so even the 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 just a few seconds ago when you saw me move up to the bus and do the lane change that was just about a two vehicle space uh, for the lane change and you you have to do such things uh, in heavy traffic um, but the fsd is not ready to do do such a maneuver yet uh, and that that kind of spoils the whole experience and when i say experience i mean merging onto the highway and then getting off the highway right that's the whole point of navigate from a to b uh, but right now, FSD is behaving like a, a new driver, uh, which is fair. I mean, uh, so it knows what to do. It knows what to do, but uh, it just doesn't have the confidence to do it yet. And uh, yeah, so I really want to see an improved version uh, come up in, in due time. Now, there are other aspects of FSD that sometimes puzzles me a bit. Uh, so for example, we... we they, they do put on turn signals at very random occasions and it confuses me and I'm pretty sure it will confuse um, the other drivers who are behind me. Uh, maybe it's something that is done overseas, but um, yeah, I, I can't seem to grab my head uh, around why FSD, FSD does this. So if you look over here, now the vehicle is going to take a bend, all right? So what I have observed so far is every time you have a merge onto or a merge off a highway, somehow FSD will pull off random turn signals that totally does not make uh, any sense. Now, watch this, okay? We're, we're doing a turn, a bend, uh, a turn into the next highway. And FSD pulls out a signal. <laughs> left turn signal for for no reason right um it isn't trying to go to the next the lane beside it th there's no reason why the signal has to come on it almost feels like it's a regulation in another country that uh, when you perform such a maneuver you have to pull up a turn signal now i have no idea how to give feedback to uh, tesla about this but it's, it, it can confuse uh, drivers on, on the roads. Then the next portion where it, it's also a bit of a driving culture thing. Um, it's slowing down for merging traffic. Now, Autopilot or FSD, or rather FSD, likes to slow down and give way. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's, 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 that's gracious of FSD, but it doesn't work that way over here. So when, when we do have a merging lane, um, most of the time we would uh, go to the adjacent lane on the right hand side. Or uh, we, will, we will just maintain our speed so that the drivers who are merging can uh, decide whether or not to slow down to come into the lane or to accelerate and come into the lane and the most uh, we do that for is to allow two or three vehicles in and then we're going right we're not going to slow down uh, or, or we're not going to explicitly slow down for the vehicle it, it's pretty much like how we give way uh, in singapore we, we don't slow down we just maintain the speed so that the driver knows that okay uh, you're not you're not going any faster let me decide what to do. I'm going to either slow down to, to merge into your lane or I'm going to accelerate uh, to, to, to overtake you. So uh, um, down here is, is a classic example of uh, FSD keeping left way ahead of time. And then because it has kept to the left lane way ahead of time, it's going to encounter merging traffic uh, into the highway. Uh, so 
I did not see the, 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 the vehicle that was merging onto the highway until FSD braked uh, for some reason, right? So it was only then that I realized that there was a vehicle on my left. Uh, he, was, he was in my blind spot. Um, and the reason for that is quite, um, it's actually quite amazing. So you see here, I'm traveling at 58, right? And you see that the guy was trying to overtake me. But then he decided not to overtake me and while he decided to not overtake me fsd slowed down right it went from 58 to 49 and that confused everyone on the road um so it, it comes back to, to to what i mentioned earlier where it, it it's just how we drive right we maintain our speed so that the driver on the left can decide uh should he overtake or should he slow down like we don't we don't change our course of action we maintain our course of action so that the driver uh, on the right or on the left can make a decision based on what uh, we're doing uh, to execute his or her move then as we move forward again we have a phantom turn signal appear for no uh, apparent reason all right so you have uh, one big lane that merged into two lanes uh, all is well all is well and then while driving down this lane, um, it's already a straight lane. You can only go straight. Uh, the only other action you need to do is if you want to keep left. But FSD decides to pull a right turn signal to indicate that it's staying on this lane. So uh, it's not wrong, right? It's, it's okay. But we don't do it. Um, so this suggests random things so far that I've spotted while uh, using FSD. Uh, if, if any of you have seen other things that you want to share with me, please go ahead and, and, and share with me uh, and also what you like and don't like about FSD. Uh, over the weekend, I will probably be doing um, a review, a, a review of FSD and also whether or not uh, I think uh, FSD is worth uh, 11.5 K uh, to purchase at this point of time. Alright guys, so that's it for today. Uh, again, if you like what you're seeing, please uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment uh, and also like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.